section assembly. I know that last week we had a really good think about our keeps values. Who can remember the value that we thought about lots first? Have a think because I'm going to give you a little bit of a clue. A bigger clue. I gave you the answer. That's right, scholars. I know you knew the answer to that. We thought about kindness. We thought about all of the very, very kind doctors and nurses and carers and all of the people that have been really kind, working really, really hard, helping to make people better if they have the coronavirus and they need to be in hospital and they need the help of the doctors and the nurses. And I know I reminded you about that special clapping that we do on Thursdays. And I know you were all out there last Thursday and you're all going to be out there this Thursday again. Now, I also told you about the fact that we were going to start giving out class scholar awards. Even though we're not having assembly in school, we can still give out our special awards when you're at home. So, the teachers had a very difficult job. They had to think of one scholar in their class that they wanted to give the kindness award to. So they were just really focusing on kindness this week. Those poor, poor teachers, they had to choose one person out of so many children in a class that were being super kind, but they did it. And today, I'm going to announce the winners. How exciting for me. So what I'm gonna do, scholars, just like in assemblies, I'm going to call out the names, I'm going to tell you the reason because the teachers have told me the reasons and I'm going to read those to you. You can have a clap at home if you're really excited about your, you winning or one of your friends winning the award. But if not, we're all going to clap together at the end before we do our pledge. Okay? Are you ready, scholars? In reception, the winners are... <gasps> in Kerr Class, it's Ermac. In Sharrock class, it's UV, and in Grey class, it's Bokeh. And the reasons are, Ermac is a super kind scholar who always goes above and beyond to help in various ways. UV, he was missing his friend Evren so much that he made him a card and sent it to him. Then Evren sent one back. UV's mum also helped him to make a beautiful butterfly decoration for Miss Mendoza to hang up at home. And Burke has been chosen because he has been busy making Play-Doh flowers for his teachers during the lockdown. He also wrote a lovely letter to his friend, which made him smile. <gasps> well done, those reception scholars. Now, moving on to year one. In year one, in Donaldson class, the scholar is Selva for helping mummy wash the dishes. In Duddle class, the scholar is Mohammed for helping his mum with cleaning the house, brushing and dusting. And Tyler and Rose in class because he has been so kind to his mum during her pregnancy. Mum is going to have a baby any day now. In fact, she might have had the baby by now. And Tyler has been so concerned about her that he gets sad when he can't go to the hospital and help look after his mummy. Wow, super kind of scholars year one. I'm sure you're all giving them a clap at home. Moving on to year two. In year two, we have Albert, Maisha and Naya. Albert was chosen because he's been doing a lot of work for his community. He did a 2.6 mile walk for charity and mum emailed the news and a photo of Albert to Twitter. So if you want to see Albert doing his special um, walk, you can see it on our AJK primary Twitter page. And Maisha was chosen for asking Miss Das how she was and how her week has been. Miss Das thought this was really kind of her to ask her about herself and her well-being. It was very grown up of her. She has also taken ownership of her work, working hard every day to complete her work set by AJK, 
this has made, meant that home learning is easier for her family. I know lots of mothers and daddies are, are finding it a little bit tricky to be the teachers and the parents at the moment. It is a hard, hard job. And Naya in grand class got the award because she has been at home so kind, helping with weighing ingredients for cooking and preparing family meals. Well done, Naya. In year three, the scholars are Jaden, Emmanuel and Ayush. Jaden was chosen for helping her brother do his phonics learning whilst he has been at home. Emmanuel, every time Miss McGrory has spoken to Emmanuel on the phone, he's been very kind, asking how she is and showing an interest in other people instead of only talking about himself. And Ayush, he has been so helpful to his mum around the house and hasn't been complaining about doing his work at all. Now, year four. In year four, the scholars are Mustafa, Kenne, and Elohim. Oh, Elohim, the M has missed off your name from the clapping, but it is there, it is you, I promise. Mustafa, he has been a pleasure to speak to during this difficult period of time. Every phone call, he has asked Mr. Burrell how Mr. Burrell is, how his family are doing, and whether he is safe and well. This shows an amazing level of kindness from Mustafa. Kenne is receiving the award because of how polite and courteous he is on the phone. He always asks how his teacher is and is so excited to share his learning every week. And in Wapurgo, Elohim with an M, he has always been very keen to ask how Mr Merrick Hall is. Whenever they talk about his own well-being, he always asks how is Mr Merrick Hall. That is very kind. Okay, are you ready? In year five. In year five, in Okikulu, we have Bizard. Bizard has been very mature over the last two few weeks. As well as completing his home learning to a very high standard, he has consistently been kind and helpful at home, continuing the wonderful example he sets to others at school. And in Andalou, we have Demario. Even before school closed, he always is kind. He works well with his partner and always helps others. His mum told Miss Samuels that he has been creating thank you NHS posters at home. Lovely. Now, year six. I have to say, scholars, that Miss um, Stanley has written quite an essay about this scholar, but I'm going to read it out because it really is very special. In year six, we have two scholars, and they are Scarlett and Karen. So, Scarlett, she has been a delight to speak to on the phone, so polite and kind, asking Miss Stanley how she is too. She's been working so hard on her home learning whilst also developing her baking skills. Last week, she was making cakes, including a Victoria sponge, and this week it's been blueberry lemon muffins. Mmm. She has kindly been sharing her cakes, not only with her family, but with her next door neighbours too, lifting everyone's spirits. She posted a picture into her mum's work and was awarded Star Baker. I am super proud of her. That's what Miss Stanley said, and I'm super proud too. And in Armstrong, <gasps> Kyron, he has been very kind and supportive with his mum's brand new baby. Well done, Kyron. He's been doing all the washing up, cleaning cupboards, and even helping Dad with DIY. <gasps> I wonder if Kyron's been helping build a new cot for that baby. Anyway, scholars, I am going to, Miss Edwards is going to send you your scholar certificate and your special message from your teacher in an email, okay? But we will keep a certificate for you so you can always have a copy when we come back to school. But well done, scholars. That is an amazing achievement to carry on that excellent kindness at home when you've obviously got lots and lots of other things going on and the world is a little bit strange. Carrying on being kind, so, so important. I think you all deserve a big clap. I hope you all clapped at home then. I wasn't clapping because I'm clicking and I can't do two things at once, I'm afraid, scholars. Anyway, I can do this. We are going to end our assembly 
just like we did last week with our pledge. Now, we know that we've got the word kind in there and I've still got that highlighted because that's what we were thinking about this week. But next week and the week after, we're going to be moving on to our next value, which is effort. Effort. Effort is about working hard and trying your best. That's what we're going to start thinking about in our next assembly, okay? So get ready for your teachers to be asking you about how much effort you're putting into things at home. Anyway, let's finish with our pledge scholars. At Arc John Keats, I will work hard every day, always try my best and be kind to others. Thank you for watching my assembly scholars. Well done to all the scholars that got the Kindness Award. Stay safe, look after yourselves, and hopefully I'll see you all soon.